So Rachel Campos Duffy is trying to rise in the ranks at Fox News. And how do you do that? Oh, well, you just hit at every talking point that is provided to the uh, staff that puts things on air and just hit them everywhere. Cancel culture most specifically. She had this monologue on Fox News the other day. Left's dangerous ideology continues its slow creep into all facets of American life. Critical race theory and gender ideology have infected nearly every institution in America. And while conservatives were politely debating ideas and our fancy think tanks were churning out policy papers, progressives were ruthlessly conquering cultural territory. Hollywood, universities, public school, media, big tech, Wall Street, and very importantly, corporate boards. Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, I, culture, not cancel culture. My mistake. I just have to duck in here. Like when they're taking cultural territory, I do not consider Wall Street or corporate boards to be cultural territory. Those are those. That's the pay dirt. That is economic territory. The heights of uh, economic priority making. That's actually where I wish the left was, and they're not there. But anyway conquering cultural territory. Hollywood, universities, public school, media, big tech, Wall Street, and very importantly, corporate boards. But the last vestige of the pro-American meritocracy still standing was the U.S. military. From the progressive perspective, the military was too masculine, had way too many Republicans, and a dangerous knack of turning minorities into patriotic, self-reliant conservatives. This could not stand. Michelle Obama's decision to make military spouses her top initiative as first lady was the first clue that they had their sights set on the U.S. armed forces. Or if a conservative did that, that could be they're just taking interest in the military. But because it's Michelle Obama, it's got to be some nefarious thing. What were you saying, Matt? Uh, no, I'm just kind of, you know, shocked that uh, the military is getting woke. Thank God. I mean, we've already done Wall Street and corporate boards. Um, yeah. Yeah. They done. Those. Right. Yeah. Done. Checked off our list. Um, now we have to focus on the military and, of course, our feminization of them. I mean, she's just like watching Tucker Carlson and taking frivolous, or, uh, not frivolous, taking uh, furious notes on what Tucker's doing and then, then regurgitating it into her own nonsense. Do we have more of that? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, that's the new frontier, folks. We've been focusing on feminizing the military and making it more liberal. And maybe if she had more brain cells and was in a different position, she would understand that the fact that other institutions in this country are trending more towards a liberal perspective speaks to the dying nature of her ideology but that's not going to be something that um she actually engages in <laughs> rachel campos duffy uh famously the real world contestant who was icky about the person with the hiv which i mean fair enough that actually is a or she i i didn't watch but my understanding of her arc was that she came to be a little bit more accepting of living with somebody with that 